and presidential candidate Tom Tancredo and the host of At Large, your own Geraldo Rivera. Welcome you both back to Hannity and Combs. Congressman Tancredo, it's interesting that Mitt Romney, Sir. Uh, Cambridge became the first sanctuary city in 1985. It renewed its status toward the end of the Romney administration. It didn't say anything about it then. All of a sudden now he's speaking, speaking out against sanctuary cities. Yeah, well, it's not unusual that almost everybody on the stage now that I appear on, uh, when Republicans running for president of the United States, that is, all, almost, all of them now are becoming the strongest uh, anti-illegal immigration advocates in the world, strengthen the borders. They all sound like Tom Tancredo, and I'm happy to hear it. Well, Rudy Giuliani, who also, by the way, as mayor of New York, was very pro-immigration, wanted services for illegal immigrants, became a, did another flip-flop he did now that he's a national candidate. Well, let me just, uh, this may be the only chance I get to agree with Congressman Tancredo <laughs> this evening, so let me uh, just uh, give him props <laughs> on that one. He's right. I, right. He, he, he did it first. He did it most ferociously, but now they're all following in lockstep. Uh, and with Rudy Giuliani, it's especially discouraging to me because he was such a great mayor here. Uh, he did help craft uh, New York sanctuary policy. Right. I interviewed uh, Commissioner Ray Kelly not more than a month ago at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Uh, he reaffirmed to me that that is the policy of the city. It's kind of a don't ask, don't tell. And I only point out to the congressman and to uh, Mitt Romney, whose radio ad we just heard, uh, that New York is the safest big city in the United States today. And so, it's been down for uh, a long so time. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is New York is doing, I would recommend Tom Tancredo, it to I just want to point out, you know, here in Newark we have a, a crime gets committed, and legal immigrants involved. We yeah. extrapolate that and act like all illegal immigrants are, are criminals when, in fact, the, the no, prison population said, who is... Who says that? Who said... Who said well, isn't who that what the that subliminal is, message is here? we got to watch out for these the illegals. That they have Beside the fact that they have come into this country against, uh, I mean, without our permission, which makes them, of course, uh, doing something illegal to begin with. But after that, of course, many do not commit other crimes, but many do. Well, most and don't. those are the ones we are concentrating on today because, of course, the people who are dead today, the three children who are dead in Newark, and the one that's in the hospital, they are in those conditions. The, they are dead kids and one in the hospital because Newark is a sanctuary city, because Newark did not do what it should have done, did not report the fact that they had in custody somebody who had committed previous crimes and was an illegal alien, and let that guy back out on the street, and he committed these crimes. Right. Rather, these is that a fair criticism of the city when you've got illegal immigrants, you've got people all over the, the country committing crimes, and there's a gr bigger, higher it, crime rate among people who are here legally than illegal immigrants. Two points. First of all, this was the, uh, the 60th homicide in Newark this year, and I'm sure Congressman Tancredo has not opined about any of the other homicides and only became interested in this one when it became clear that one of the six alleged perpetrators came to this country illegally at the age of 11. That's one thing. Number two, why was this person, this uh, one of the six, uh, around to commit this hideous crime? He was out because he had a 31 count indictment for the rape of a child and he was out on $15,000 bail instead of the requisite $450,000 bail that he never could have made and never would have been on the street. It had nothing to do with his immigration Arlo. status. And it's it just being used okay. by advocates of, uh, of uh, this crushing anti-immigration policy to make a cheap absolutely political point. Absolutely untrue. Uh, look, okay, Geraldo, let let please. Now, now let's, go, let's go through this one. It is just as the, the, go through this process as he has laid it out. Sixty crimes, sixty murders committed in, in Newark up to this point in time. First of all, we have absolutely no idea, of course, how many of those murders were committed by people who were in this country. Oh, illegally. I bet you kind of know. We would this know. Is, now, wait a minute. No, no, just a minute. Just a minute. You, this, you, you brought this up. I'm saying that then you went on to suggest that the reason that this guy was out on the street simply was because the bail was reduced. But the reality of the situation is this, Geraldo, and you know this, that one reason, of course, that the bail was not set higher is because the guy didn't have, the judge did not have the information about him being an illegal he alien. He had a 31 and that, child rape that, that, indictment. That, you're right, you're right. But How you much see, more if would he the had bail had be? A it, trillion dollars? They, but he could have been deported. It wouldn't be a dollar. Do you want him deported before you try him for it child rape? Yes. Yes. Uh, for child rape? Yes. He's got a 30 yes. count child it, rape and right against him. And you want him deported before you send him let, to jail? Let, let me life? explain one thing, and then we'll get back to Congressman Tanker. Let me tell you what I think you're missing here: is that these lives of these college students may have been saved after this guy was charged with the serial rape of a five-year-old. Had it not been a sanctuary city, had they not hidden his illegal immigration status, he could have been deported. And the issue here, Geraldo, that you seem 
to be missing is this country is angry because of the, the country is angry. You know why? And it's not nothing to do the with race. The country is angry because of political leaders no. who heighten no. the contradiction Hogwash. between no. different groups, You're, who exa exacerbate no. tensions. So those people who are, are not. not let me explain. Not, here's why we're not mad. speaking to the tradition of America as an immigration right, I'll give it as, a, as a country. Of immigration has got nothing like to do with the it. congressman's immigration grandparents both came from Italy. Italy. What's that got to do with it? We are a country of immigrants. We should be open-minded. We're not talking about illegal immigrants. We're talking about the majority of these people are immigrants. Hard working, law Do you understand the difference? Do you understand the difference between Congressman, the you, you, and you were in Miami that last you, you year. You called Miami a nothing. third world city. What's that got to do with it? What what you that that it, is, it is an insult to Hispanic to America. You call it a third three world city. You also hold your capital of the country. Don't change the subject. Congressman, let me bring up three things. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Let me bring up a point here for Geraldo. Listen, Geraldo, and look, I have so much respect for you. And the and I no, all right, let, let me let me finish here. It's the infrastructure. It's the fact that people don't obey the laws. It's, it has a major impact financially on our educational system, criminal justice system, health care system, that we, don't, we want to reward illegal activity. And in this particular case, had we taken advantage with the knowledge of the status of this guy, these three young African Americans may be alive today. Do I have 30 seconds to respond? I'll give you 20 okay. seconds. Okay, I'll take the 20. I'll give you 28. Uh, thank you. In Washington State... Yeah. There was the kidnapping on July 4th of the 12-year-old, ironically, immigrant child who was raped, kidnapped, and murdered. Zanny Linick, her name. Mm -hmm. All of the right-wing blogs, including some of the people who are contributors on this network, said a consequence of Americans' open-door policy because it was revealed that the perpetrator right. of the terrible crime was an immigrant from Thailand. So everyone, for, for 24 hours, the right wing was crazy about this case. What happened? Why aren't you hearing about this case anymore? Let me tell you. Because it turned out the guy you're was over 28 the stepson, you're over 28 hold it, the stepson of an Army you're veteran. Over he was seconds. himself an Army veteran right. and, a, and a naturalized Problem. citizen Why, who what? voted okay. in okay. 2011. Go back, pick it up right I mean, there. so now, now the, the right wing doesn't care. We'll come back in a moment. Still to come tonight, who reads more, liberals or conservatives?